Did you know that in Fable, they were originally going to have a multiplayer mode with four players where they would be able to work together and accomplish unique quests, but this mode was cancelled in 2004 because of time constraints. Did you know that in Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, there is a 16th century painting by Parmigianino which has a striking resemblance to Keanu Reeves, and if you approach the painting, he will say, Whoa. What a breathtaking man. Which refers to the time a member of the audience said to Keanu Reeves at E3 2019 is really going to be breathtaking. breathtaking. Did you know that for Shadow of the Colossus, all of the Colossus that you encounter didn't have actual names, but over time developers and fans gave these Colossus unofficial nicknames. For example, the first Colossi that you encounter, the developers named it Minotaur A, while fans gave it another name, Valus. Did you know that in Star Wars Republic Commando, boss numerical designation is RC1138 or RC01-138, which is most likely a reference to George Lucas' first feature film, THX1138. Did you know that in Cuphead, during the root pack boss fight, when entering the second phase, if you don't shoot at the minion for a couple of seconds, it will exit on its own very happily and you will enter the third phase, fighting against the carrot and a radish minion will appear and will attack you. Did you know that in Chess Course 3, in the city of Citate di Ravello, you can find the logo of a famous YouTuber, Nerdcubed, graffitied on a wall? Did you know that in Cyberpunk 2077, Judy Alvarez has a ghost in the shell tattoo on her left shoulder and on her phone as an avatar? Did you know that the Game Boy had a sonar add-on for fishermen? This sonar was able to locate fish for up to 65 feet deep, and it also included a minigame. Did you know that for Fallout New Vegas, the developers behind the game have agreed that if the game at the time got a meta score of 85 or higher, they would receive a huge bonus payment. But unfortunately, they didn't receive that bonus because when the game was released, they gave the game a rating of 84, missing that bonus by just one point. Did you know that in Fallout, if you start the game with less than 4 intelligence, you won't be able to converse with anyone, your dialogue options will be very limited and this will make the game very difficult to finish.